Hello, I'm the Game Critic, aka Foreman B from Xbox Live, and welcome to my review for Hard Reset Redux on the Xbox One. And this game was developed by Flying Wild Hog and published by Gambitious Digital Entertain Entertainment. Yeah, Entertainment. Got that. Anyway, if you've not heard of this game before, it's been released on Steam previously. It's a dystopian, apocalyptic, wasteland, cyberpunk FPS. It's quite a bit going on there, but you, you learn more as the game goes on. And it's actually quite a fun game, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to show you a bit of what I've started, well not long started, a second playthrough, played through the entire game and the protagonist, he's, it looks to be augmented, he looks like he's wearing an eyepiece, I mean I, I love this artwork, it's not like fine detailed lines, it all looks like it's been It is rather nice. I do like this artwork. Uh, so props to the art department. They've done a very good job there. Their cutscenes are actually quite interesting. They're, they're more like a comic book effect. So that, that's a that nice little addition for me. Anyway. So here we go. We've got your katana, which is your melee weapon. I've already got the rifle and shotgun for the CLM weapons and then the NRG weapons or energy. Uh, smart gun, rail gun, mortar, blast and the plasma. And I've got to be honest the blast and the rail gun are just brilliant. Like uh, what's that game? Shadow Warrior that's the one. Um, that, that was a fun, fun game. Fun. And what should we do? We'll get the last item. I do love the detailing on the weapon. It, it does look rather a lot of fun. And you'll see me unlock. <laughs> but yeah, I do like these. Uh, quite tricky, but you've got how much you can use. Limited run. So no, that's quite handy. Destructible scenery. It's not fully destructible, but you do get the explosive barrels and gas canisters everywhere. You can just. Yeah, you know, it is just. It's in the centre, you've always got something around you to destroy. Which, you know, you get like big ammo pickups here. On the left hand side of your stats where your health bar is and all that so that's quite handy to to have and go and have a look at the upgrades five CLM and what the weapon it just modifies itself into something else it just transforms I suppose that's the best way of putting it. But by the following two upgrades, just so I found that going through this game, 
you know, she... It's totally up to you what you use over in... It was coming... To be honest, it, it really intrigued me. I know I'm doing a lot of cyberpunk games now, but cyberpunk is a theme I've... Triple A game, dark and grim, mind of utterly destroy you. A civilization lives within the walled confines of Bizarre City. So it's uh, I've like that aren't we other things the explosive barrels in the environment will electrocute everything around it for a short period of time like you don't just get to it very soon you will, you will get inundated with them they will swarm you and they are unrelenting, which mindlessly blows. Uh, coming to the end of the level here, each level again to try and bend the little stat screen. You got how long it took you, how many of the secrets you found, how much nano you collected, and as you can see, all the other stats there. And you just want a, a previous score. I mean, you see there, I've got 337 out of 500 points for that level and for me that that's just not good enough I want to hit at least 450 so I obviously haven't done enough environmental kills and maybe the damage received was too high uh, didn't destroy enough bring it down as well time it took me so you know there's all them factors to consider so that that's always something we're taking into account you're going to get a lot of replay value so I'm going to show you the next um, chapter, but I'm going to leave the culprit may still be out of reach. There's a bit of a conspiracy thing. I do enjoy watching YouTube videos of them because I, I do find them funny. To be honest, some of them are just hilarious. You know, so if you ever need a cheap laugh, go watch a conspiracy theory videos. Some of them are just outright bizarre. But I do love this rather and I do think the artists for Flying Wild Hog are very talented. I do love this look. It, it is absolutely fantastic. It, for me, it's, it, it's beautiful. I mean, art is a beautiful thing to look at sometimes, especially when it's done like this. Part of that I'm reviewing. I do appreciate, um, like most notably in between one of my previous games I've reviewed. Fantastic. Um, there was one major niggle though I do have with this game, and it is the ending. I, I, I just felt let down by it. I won't go into it. Um, I have already written a review on true achievements by the time this video is live, and. I've mentioned about the spoilers, it's highlighted in a black box within the review, my major niggle, so if you don't want to know about it, if you read my review, avoid that bit, because it will be a massive, massive spoiler. Sorry about that, I uh, just realised I haven't pressed the button to continue the game, so apologise for that, but yeah, it is a big, big niggle, and I did feel a bit disappointed. So that, that that was one thing that will lower the overall score, and it's a shame. Is or whether they're just waiting for like a sequel, perhaps, or maybe adding like a DLC storyline. So.
yeah, hopefully they'll be able to address that. Because all the game itself, really, really can play in it, especially computers. And, you know, there's no, no online, so you don't have to worry about a dead community within a, the first couple of weeks, like a lot of games are, sadly. Um, it was a good, I'd say a good eight hours. I got out of the main campaign, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. People, they like to just go blasting through. Um, there's people like me. I like to in the game, and you know, just generally totally up to you. You know how you want to play this, but it, it's fun, and it is just one of them games we <laughs> because it is really. Stuff like that, where you sort of ask, you know what? It's not like I fancy going out and I just want to blow stuff up. You know, sometimes it's the best thing to do. You know, you just the thing. Okay. There is not any crouch button, which I find pretty strange. Then, or you know, games that don't have crouch buttons, what's the world coming to? Anyway, that's it. Before with it, I'm not going to tell you how to pretending to be frustrated. I've already completed the game once, but anyway, summarizing my experience with hard reset. There was lots of barrels to blow up, gas canisters, or you know, conventional like shotguns and rifles. Um, there's nice little secrets added in to explore, little secret areas, so you can go off the beaten track. You know, it's, it's nothing too big, but just like little alleyways or secret hidden rooms. I think that's great. Just little bits to. Add. Add more to the game, a bit more depth. Story-wise, it's good. I like the conspiracy theory angle. How humanity has gone after the hive has just decimated everything. So, like I said, the major niggle, it's, it is a major one. So I did feel a bit disappointed, but it, it's, a, it's a decent length of campaign. Uh, it's priced at £15.99. It's out now. You do. It's just the one thing that let me down in a big way. You know, there were a couple of other things. I mean, it runs smoothly as well. And, you know, overall, it's not a bad game. It really isn't. So it, it is worth supporting them. And I'm sure you'll enjoy the Reset Redux. Seven and a half out of ten. It's a fun game, and you, you will enjoy it, even if you. So, hit that subscribe button for more reviews, and my videos. So what?